Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to Arise and Shine. Now that winter is upon us, it's time to gather around the fire and get warm and cozy with good friends and more importantly, great, great booze. booze. <laughs> Here to help us with that is Maria Delmar Sacasa, author of the book Winter Cocktails. Thank you so much for joining us. Which, by us. the way, I loved your oh, book. Oh, good. And I loved Thanks for yeah. having yeah. us. We yeah. got to yeah. take a look at it last week and we were both so excited. Yeah. And now we um, get to have them for breakfast. I know. So, <laughs> so you share over a hundred delicious recipes yep. in your book ranging from hot buttered rum to salted caramel hot Delicious. chocolate. Uh, what, what else can we expect? In so a lot of punches, one of which we'll be having today, and I think they're great for holiday because when you have a party, you don't want to be mixing every single drink every time. So it's a good kind of watering hole at, yeah. your, so, at your place. So, so it's good. what was your inspiration for creating this book? It was mostly, um, I have a recipe developing background and I'm a food stylist as well, and it really became more about flavor because I think there's so much craft cocktail and uh, mixology going on right now that yes. I felt a little bit unprepared for it, but okay. then it really was just like making dinner or baking a cake. So all of the flavors yeah. sort of developed nice. organically. Yeah. I love that term, love that food stylist. It just yes. makes it sound so much more fun. <laughs> Fancy. Uh, so you've brought some recipes for us to try yes. today. What are we gonna be tasting? So I think we should start with some bubbly. I, oh, bubbly, I agree. bubbly's um, good. <laughs> and this <laughs> is actually one of my very favorite drinks from the book because the whole point is, you know, you have a lot of chamomile tea during right. winter and it's soothing, but here we've turned it cold and we've turned it festive into oh, a punch. Oh, I like so that. Just put a nice what little spin on yeah. When I have so, my coffee, I like to have cold coffee always. Yeah, so I love does. anything cold. <laughs> no matter what the temperature is. Oh, so now it's that. a party. Look, she did yes. that correctly. And I love you show how to do it in your book. Yes. yes uh, you show so how to usually pop the yeah, go see? with the bottle because, yes. and also I really recommend just keeping valuables and uh, your friends out of the way. Just have that issue. <laughs> so uh, this is some pear brandy, okay. and um, it's also just thinking about all the flavors that happen in fall. So uh, th stuff you find at the farmer's market, and it's oh, just yeah. very seasonal that way. So this yummy. will have some pear so brandy. So pear brandy. Yep. Yeah. And then, um, just for good measure, some vodka, because it oh, is a party yes. after all. Vodka? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's like always a party on our eyes and shine, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And in the book, we actually have infusions uh, for the recipe, so you can actually flavor your vodka. So that'll just add an extra layer to uh, your drink. Mm. Makes but sense. you can just, you know, if you're pressed for time, just pop it right. in there. And then the most important part is this is really strongly brewed chamomile tea. Ooh. I love chamomile uh, yeah. tea. So, That's one of my personal soothing. favorites. Yeah. It is, and now it'll be You're going to make and me want to take a nap right now. <laughs> so is, is food styling how you got into the field of doing this? Or? Uh, I actually worked at uh, America's Test Kitchen, and they have two Ooh, what's magazines. What's that? What's that? This is a honey syrup. Yeah, it looks oh, like a honey it syrup. smells so good. And all it is is uh, you bring equal parts honey and water to a boil, boil. and that way it'll dilute instead of having, because if you just dump honey or any sort right. of thick syrup in here, it's just gonna dump out the bottom. And you need the jars because they make everything look so good for the holiday yeah, too. Yeah, well, and the great thing is that this also just goes to show that this is such an easy drink to make for a party when you're pressed for time because I made all of this last yeah. night and you're done. You're ready to go. And then you don't have to wait for it to and cool. You have so the do you want to do the honors? <laughs> oh, you can do it. Oh, okay. Here, mm, have I'm some of this and then we'll just stir it in. Also, I want right. you to tell us Yummy. about your vlog. Do I pour it all in? Is that what I'm doing? Just to the top. Oh, just and then the you top. can just refresh as you go. I'm pouring to the top. So it's good. The crew is going to love this. So <laughs> it's for everyone. Cooking and shooting. So it's cooking and shooting. Shoot. Com. Cooking and, and shooting. I'm just pouring without the, whole the bottle G. There you Sorry. go. There we go. So yeah, the blog is something that I do with the uh, Tara Striano, who's a fantastic food photographer and interior photographer, and she's done all the photography for the book, which is so beautiful. And yeah, for, it is really beautiful. Yeah. So uh, check it out because the recipes it really are always. really makes me want to go and dig in there. I'm yeah. <laughs> so this is your first recipe book. How does it differ from other cocktail books that are out there? Because I've seen a couple, but I really one I already see it differs because the drinks on the front with the Kahlua and the milk thing, you know, makes, warms my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's just very, very seasonal, and uh, a lot of cocktail books did have little sections on mulled wine and, right. you know, mm -hmm. buttered rum, but this one really expanded on uh, that theme a lot, so we get to have more inventive drinks and Are punches. you gonna have one too, or is it just us? You know what, I have a, I have my okay. Cheers. 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 glass here. Oh wait, we have to wait? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna fall over as I was making the drink, so, but just a little <laughs> bit. Cheers. 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 Thank you so Cheers. much. Cheers. You're and so you, welcome. And what do you hope people, mm, besides taste the alcohol will take away from all of this? <laughs> Ooh, I also, you're gonna prepare another drink uh -huh. as well, right? Mm -hmm. So. Let me just check this pot. 
okay. um, while this uh, is going. So this oh. is still coming to a summer, but um, nice. I'm sure you've all had oh, man, mold, white, so mold red wine. Yes. And that's just the very usual thing. This is white. Okay. And I think it's a little bit unexpected. So what's in the pot? So uh, toasted peppercorns and allspice Ooh, and cloves. So that'll that. add a really nice layer of toasty spices Flavor. in there. And then this just gets a little bit of sugar and some sweet wine. Is that raw sugar you're putting in or do you per or brown? I do, this is um, this is just sugar and the okay. raw, but if you have granulated, it's absolutely it's okay, okay. fine. Yeah, and so then we go with a few fresh herbs in here nice. as well. So sage and thyme, which I'm sure you think oh, Thanksgiving smells. turkey, like you, you know, it. but yeah. yeah. So that'll go in here too, and then it'll just. That would be something to go with the turkey, that would be nice. It's great, and the thing is you know? that when you're having the red one, I always feel it's a little bit too heavy, right. but this is just great because if you have a guest coming in, you can just have oh, your little pot so going and yes. then like welcome to my party and then <laughs> just get it going that way so do you have a personal favorite do you I, prefer the cold or the hot drinks i'm more cold because i tend to sweat yeah. right <laughs> me too especially <laughs> when i'm at a party and i'm like oh my yeah. god i have to get all this stuff done right. so, so i do like a cold punch but this is really nice and this is one of the drinks that when people were asking me how were you developing these cocktail right. recipes and not passing right. out this was one where I had a few too many, and I was like, <laughs> it just goes down really easily. So. I think on yeah. these nice cold nights, though, the warmth right yeah. before bed, like these are good, you know, like with the well, turkey we'll or before bed, because turkey puts easier. you to sleep right. too. So let's let's this is try it out, yeah. should we? Yeah. So we're gonna try this one. This is so fantastic. Here, try it from this. What's side. next for you? There's another book. I can just there's, really? yeah, there's okay. another cocktail book. So it's summer cocktails and that'll be out in April. So you can expect the same sort of theme and the same sort of Ooh. color and everything. Well, I am so happy so. that you were able to join us, Maria. Thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. So, I hope oh, you can stick around and oh, make more fun yeah. drinks for us. That was what the extra drink was. <laughs> like. yeah. was Still to come, my friend Tony Grant from House of Swag will discuss her super dope dollhouse project, a collection of one of a kind custom dolls rock and natural hair. One of them might even look a little familiar. Stick with us.